Raleigh. Perish. Presents. JJ Ati style. Oh, yeah! He was a very sick man and had to beg for everything he had. He was grateful to eat what the rich man had left over. One day the poor man cried out to God because no one else seemed to care. The dogs on the street showed more compassion for Lazarus than the rich man from his own community. At least the dogs were his companions as they lay by his side each and every day. One day the poor man died. The angels carried him to paradise, but Father Abraham was there to comfort him. One day the rich man died as well. After he was buried, he opened his eyes in hell where he was tormented. He could see Lazarus afar off, the man he had neglected. Now he was by Abraham's side in paradise. Listen to what they said. because you were a very wealthy man, whereas Lazarus was a poor man. He had to beg for the very food scraps and even the crumbs from your table, and you did not give him anything. Now, you are tormented and in agony, but Lazarus is comforted. You neglected the call of God's salvation upon your life. Whereas Lazarus received and accepted God's salvation. That's why you are where you are. That's why he is up here. Now, wait a minute. No, wait, 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 wait. I'm sorry you chose the path that leads to hell. If I could, I would come to you and show you mercy. But our destinations are fixed, and no one can cross from here to there. Please, please, please. There's nothing I can do. Father Abraham, Father Abraham, make, make a way for me to come to you. Or for Lazarus to come to me and comfort me. Please, I believe. I do, I do, I do, I do, I do. I do. It's I too late for you now to believe. You shall not pass. Father Abraham, then send Lazarus to my father's house and warn my family, especially my brothers, who live much like I do. Your brothers have the same message of salvation available to them, just as you did. Please, you must warn them. You must warn them. So they don't come to this miserable, miserable place and be in torment and agony like I am. Please. They must listen to the scripture, the prophecy, and to the Jesus, the Messiah. They can either receive it or they can reject it. Please. Dear God, Father Abraham, don't you know that if if someone came from the dead, that they would believe and change the way that they're living and repent. Please, 
faith. They would. No. If they do not have faith in the message of the saving grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, they certainly would not believe someone sent to them from the dead. I believe the message when it was presented to me. It didn't change my temporary circumstances. But it did change my life. I'm thankful for God's message to us all. Please. 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 I'm sorry. Father Abraham. Please. Yes. Yes. You're coming to me. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Thank it's you. over. Enough. Enough. No. No. Your no. final destination has now been permanently determined. There is nothing I can nor will I do. No. No. Enough. What about you, Kendra? How about you, Amaris? Is your eternal destination settled? You will now experience what this biblical story might look like today. For the, the wages, wages of sin, sin is death, death but, but the, the gift, gift of God, God is eternal life through Christ, Christ Jesus our Lord. Lord.